Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of Black Fathers Matter, man. It's your boy, Ralph. What's good, yo? What's good, Roy? Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Roy, man. Young OG, we back in this business. BFM yeah, in the building. Slim God Lane in the cut. What's happening, Ralph? Yo, what's, what's up, happening, Slim? G? Yo, you know what, man? I'm good, man. Just another day in paradise and this fucking Yes, yes, shit. yes. But, but right. um, yo, you know, sun is shining. It's cold as fuck. But we here, nigga. So what are you gonna do? What can you do? Oh, that's that's what's up. So did you yo, so stack you, them stack them bills like uh like Bellamy G? That's it. That's all we trying to get to. <laughs> that's it. So did you watch the Super Bowl? Yeah, I, I watched a little bit, man. A little bit. You know what I mean? What happened was um I was hanging out with my my little one. Yeah. And I got caught up watching uh World War Z. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, yeah. and it was her first time. So, you know what I mean? I was like, we tried to start it earlier, but uh, we kind of got into like, you know, we finished around 7.15. So by the time I hopped in, you know, I saw I saw some of the havoc. But when I when I looked in it, man, I think it was like 28 to 3 or some weird yeah, ass yeah, score. Yeah. Like that. it was a 7. Yeah. yeah, it was some ridiculous. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? I was, I, 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 I eventually, I eventually fell asleep. Oh, for the real? Game oh, yeah. Shit. But but <laughs> I just felt bad for my man Patrick Mahomes, right? Because you don't, mm. you know, the mm. fun, do, let me ask you a question. And this is not right. what I want to talk about. Let me ask you a question. Right? Would you rather? I don't. I, you know, this is like a psychological shit. Would you rather right. get to the big game and get your ass kicked, or not get to the big game at all? Oh man. Well, yo, it really depends, man. Because the big game is where everybody's working towards. I know and somebody got to lose, G. Somebody got to lose. It, it don't depend. What you, I ain't asking no metaphysical shit. You, right. would you rather get to the big game and get your ass kicked? Or would you rather not get to the big game at all? I think, I, yeah, I, I just want to have a decent season. Get a little shine, you know what I mean? Nigga, why do you ain't answering but, this question? It's a simple question. Um... Yeah, you, you I don't want to get my ass you kicked, talking bro. on some... But I ain't going teams, in there to... Listen, man, all I'm saying is played, I ain't going to the big... played hard, guys. No, no, no. This, this, no, that was honestly like some my, like some Roy Jones and um, Tyson type of situation, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why but you can't, why with you that can't said, answer this question. With that said, here's the reason why, man. Full disclosure, I'm not that big of a football fan. I don't know, you know nigga. In life, bro. Why are you making it about... In life, would you... At the NBA... You on an NBA right. team? Do you want to okay. make it to the NBA Finals and get swept, or do you want to get, or do you want to get knocked out in the first round of the playoffs? I want to make it to the NBA Finals and get swept. Damn, if I have nigga. To. Good God, I'm telling yo, you. I, that was five minutes to answer the question. <laughs> you want to make it? Yeah, great. Yes, speaking in NBA language, man. But yes, I would definitely, I would definitely make it to the finals and get swept. You know why? Because I'm gonna come back next year, man. I'm. A, I, hopefully, I'm gonna learn from that bullshit. You, you, now it depends only, on the type of sweeping that is taking place. Blowout swept. No, I blowout. Don't know about that then. No. Not a gentleman sweep. No. Blowed out. 4-0. I'm I'm out, man. I'm sitting on I'm sitting on the bench on that joint. I ain't so another, you know, I want so no part to that. Are you changing? I'm changing your answer? if it's a blowout sweep like that, oh hell no. I'll give you I'll give you one that. game. A gentleman sweep. Are you good with a gentleman sweep? Yeah, but I'm never good with being number two, G. Oh, so, damn, with that, that said... Like, why are you making this complicated? <laughs> it's a simple question. Say, man. No, you know what? I ain't trying to do Everybody that. Can't, every, can't, every, you can't win every that. week. So you'd, exactly. rather, you'd, rather, you'd rather not make it at all. Not I don't want to be out. the reason why the other team who won is celebrating hard. Well, I don't want to be that the reason. Right, but so, based on that, with that bro, said, never, they I'm a lane to cut. I'm a lane to cut. Exactly. I'm a lane to cut. You know so what I'm saying? Scott, so you, Scotty Pippen. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have you to Scotty Pippen, Pippen it. That's fucked. You know what I mean? Because my pride. <laughs> yo, I'm being real Scottie though. Pippen. But well, what you gonna do, man? You gonna go out there and get dusted? Yeah. Cause guess what? <laughs> There's 28 other teams. You know what they thinking? Damn! I wish we could go and get our. I wish we was on that. We exactly. That's a, you know yeah. why? You what if you get whooped like reason. that? Come on, I still get. I'm still getting. Listen, I'm still getting paid. G. 
I still get course. paid for being in the game. Who gives a fuck? And there, there, are, there are hefty fines for those who make it to the playoffs and they don't want to play. Let me ask so, you a question: Is the beer gonna be cold at the after I get swept? Hell yeah! Is the weed gonna be hot when I get swept? I don't know about a hot weed, but it better be lit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> is the is my right, lady right. is my lady gonna leave me because I got swept? Mm, it depends, bro. It depends. Okay. She may be, you know, off in the in the Lambo with the winning team, <laughs> and you standing an there M- with Rasputius. <laughs> okay, I'm a I'm an NBA player. Can I get a re up if my lady leaves? Oh, me? of course, dude. So then what's the you walk problem? through you walk through that hallway right before you get on the buses and the parking lots. There are a whole bunch of them in, in abundance. Fact, pick. In fact, I'll go one step further. There are women who I might not have gotten if I had won. Mm. But because I lost, they feel sorry that for me. Vote. Oh, yeah. sympathy That's one. vote. And yes. second thing is, let's say you a woman and you've been planning, you, you going to the, okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell right. you, let me tell right. you a story. Right. Let me tell you a story. So this guy got stories. Yo, by the way, man. Tell everybody why this guy used to work for the NBA, man. That's what this is. Tell, tell the world tell what you did. Let me tell you. you know so saying? here's the story. So I worked for the yeah. NBA. Shout out to all my NBA peoples back in the day, day. Chauncey Billup, what up? Um, so I was at the M- I worked at the NBA in in um and and the last time that the NBA held a uh, an All Star game in Washington D.C. I'll never forget. Yeah. I think it was like 2000, 2002, some shit like that. Right, right, right. Maybe I get so so so. If you work at the NBA or if you're a VIP or media, you get these credentials. Right? Oh shit! These guys just, stunting right now. You rock the credentials. You stunting credential anywhere because that's what gets you into the building. You know what I'm saying? That's what gets you in yeah, the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it gets you basically. It, I mean, maybe it's not the way today, but it used to get you into basically like any building Anything. in the city. So free if buffets, you be, yeah, all of that. I used to be like y'all with the NBA, they'd be like, "Yo, yo, come on in," because they they don't want no problems now. Right, right, right. What that also does is make you a target mm. because every, yo, when, when there's an, and it, it, I'm sure this is the case for the Super Bowl. I went to one Super Bowl. I like didn't go inside, but I was outside the Super Bowl. Same thing yeah. with the Super Bowl. There's the people that go that actually have tickets and there's the wannabes that are just yeah. looking for hookups anywhere they could get it. So, Thanks. So it, yo, chop, yo, especially for NBA for All Star, yo, there'd be hundreds of thousands of black folks, niggas, as far as the eyes can see. If you need every every hood, niggas, every borough if is out there, niggas, they come in buses, bro, <laughs> it's like, like a DMX concert. <laughs> yeah, as far as the eye can see, G. Yep, and everybody is looking for a come up in a hookup. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Now. The majority of those people are women. Mm. And they come okay. by the busloads. Okay. By the busloads, got you. They come in to put in work, bro. They want to yeah. get as close to the action as they could possibly get. So this one They won't time, be standing right next to them. I'm in the, I'm in the, escal- I'm in the, um, in the elevator, the hotel. And what happens is all these wannabes hang out at the hotel lobby. Right, just right. like anything, they hang out at the whole Scooping hotel lobby, up the women. hoping for the hookup. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you can always tell when NBA players aren't married or don't give a fuck because those NBA players are hanging out in the hotel lobby. Right. Right. Because that's looking where all the bitches are. They, they, that's where all the chicks are. So one time I get my elevator, get in the elevator, go up to my room, and these three women get on the elevator with me. They like mm. lock open the door. They run and they sweaty. And they're like, what do you do? Are you a sweaty. player? Yeah, they sweat. Okay, okay, okay. Like, nah, I'm not a player. And they good looking too. Not tens, oh, not should... nines. They're like seven, seven, Twelve. seven, seven, no, no, no. Seven, what? seven point fives. They, 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 they good, but they not that. Is that with the makeup or without the makeup? Oh, what they fully made up. You? They fully made up. Oh, okay. So seven and a half with the makeup. So drop that down. Okay, well, all right, all right. Whatever. They five do and a half. Think? They five, they five point hmm. seven five. Could they have oh, gotten shit. it? Could they have gotten it? Absolutely. <clears throat> so they say to me, so what do you do? Um, are you an agent? Because I'm short. So they, every, every, when I had a credential, they always thought I was an agent. Right? Right. 
So, you know, they either thought I was fucking Muggsy Bogues or I was an agent. So, so, so I'm like, <laughs> like, what do you do? I said, oh, I work at the it's league office. Shit. It's like, oh, <laughs> league office. And on the shit, on the credential, it would tell you all access or would have a letter. And you, if you knew the code, you'd know what that shit was. My shit said right, all right, access right. on it. It was like, hey, do you think it's the players party tonight? Do you think I could borrow your, um, you think I could borrow your credential oh. and me and my friends could go in? Like, yo, right. you know what? I can't. You can see these are numbered. And if they, and if they found it, um, right. you know, I lose my job. Like, oh, okay. Okay. Elevator keeps going up. Hmm. She's like, yo, what if I suck your dick for it? Oh, she is. They really and need these it. These other two chicks are sitting there like. We'll help. What? I'm like, yo, real talk. I can't. I can't. Like, oh sorry. man, They're talk like, about self control. That's what's what. What <laughs> if? Um, what if? And you know what's crazy? This was one of my first All Star games because mm. later I would have sold this <clears throat> shit for a bag of fucking nickels because I was so, so sick of it. But this was one of my first All Star games. So she's like, her last thing is. What if I fucking cut you and take it? What if I just take it from you? And the only thing that's, and she was dead ass serious. And the only wow. thing that stopped you her from jacking target, my G. shit was the elevator, the elevator doors opened and three white people came on. Saved by crackers. Uh, Salutes, crackers. Shout out to that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, so the game, we uh, talked about the yeah. game. The game. So people are crazy, man. It's so fucking crazy. Oh, of course. The game was dog shit. It's nuts, man. You, you know what else was dog shit, bro? The fucking weekend. Yo, how was the performances? I missed all of that crap because I just... Okay, you know, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Really I'm glad know. you asked me this question. So let me break down the fucking performances. All right, all right. Let's hear this. So I didn't even watch all of it. But let's break down the performances. So do you know who her is? The Hell singer. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, she's popping. So she sang America the Beautiful and she bodied that shit. Okay. It was okay. fucking un. I expect nothing but greatness from her, though. You know what and I mean? She so put I'm the glad Prince, to hear that. And she put the Prince I'm glad it wasn't, no so Fergie. It wasn't a Fergie situation. <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember that situation back in the day, Fergie, yeah. dude? And oh, she shit. put the I'm and good. she put the she put a fucking Prince solo on it. Ooh, uh, oh, that, that's what that, that stole your heart right there, man. Say no, no more. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, and then there was this fucking country singer. I think his name was Eric Church. And he sang the Star Spangled Banner. But then yeah. he broke it. But he bought out Jasmine Sullivan. What? One, she's looking hmm. good, son. And two, Jasmine, she yeah. bodied it. They worked together. I wasn't even listening to him. He was fine. So wait a minute. She, she bodied. They collabed. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They collabed. It was dope. And, and she bodied it. Well, yo, bodied it. that's dope. No, so, no, so what no, was no. what was the shitty part about it? Then we got to the motherfucking weekend. The main event. Now let me tell you something right? about the weekend. I don't fucks with him. Mm. I know I say that, that. you're gonna. I know you're going to say, yo, nigga, how you not fucking with him? You got light skin emotions. He got light skin emotions. Why are you not fucking with him? And the reason why I'm not fucking with The weekend is because he makes motherfuckers with light skin emotions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know saying? what you're going to say, man. Both, you're going to yo, burst out in tears. Be like, oh. Listen, listen. If yo, you got, if you you got, got light, burst it up. If you got light skin emotions, right. you know what you don't need? You don't need reminders of the fact mm. that you have light skin emotions. And that and you don't want that inducement either of just yes, tears. <laughs> yes. And guess what? I also don't want to hear that shit on national television. Okay? So, oh. so, and he said, It's a Yo, reminder. I spent seven, he spent seven million dollars of his own money to do that performance. And I'm like, yo, nigga, what you spent? You should, yo, you should during COVID. You need a refund. You need during a refund. COVID? Yo, bro, send so that wild. money back to the projects in Scarborough, homie. Where you from? It is so You're putting wild. seven so million dollars on that nonsense. That's bullshit. So, so to add to make it even worse, G. Uh, okay, so 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 okay. 
So there's one other thing I want to talk about, but to, so so at halfway through the performance, mm. he goes backstage, and oh, 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 oh. the weekend. Did he show up? I heard like I've seen pictures of him. Got some plastic surgery. What weekend showed up? Was it the chisel face weekend or the regular face weekend? Yo, you know what it was? It was like two thirty on a Sunday morning weekend. <laughs> That's what his face looked like. It, his face looked uh, like his face looked face. like I partied all fucking night and I'm worn. The f- yo, I don't understand. Yo, okay, uh, just... <laughs> okay. I don't believe he spent seven with that. Yo, seven million dollars on his own performance. See, this dude, is what I'm saying, man. Dude, right now, there's a lot of stupid shit happening. Yo, a but lot if of you got that, se- ah, but fuck it. If you got seven million dollars okay, okay, okay. spent on that bullshit, then spend that. Shit. Hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. Hold, hold, hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. You know who little Uzi Vert is? Yes. That fool put a twenty-four million dollar diamond in his forehead. Okay. That's stupid shit. Well, okay. That's real but nigga shit. But but here's the thing. Why? Did, did he did he have? I only care about one thing. Did What's he that? have twenty-four million dollars in the bank to buy that shit and put it in his face, straight cash? I don't and know if, if he, he did does, or not. And if he does have $24 million, then I need to really reevaluate little Uzi Vert's career. Right. Because I didn't think he had. I got to find out where he lives because I need to meet him at the grocery store or something. You know what I mean? And do, <laughs> and do what happened to me at and the and fucking him, elevator. <laughs> send him night night. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not going to be all that. I'm just send him night night. He can wake up with his cubic zirconia joint in there, man. Right, but come right. on, twenty four million dollars in your head, G. If you a you target. It, that is that is a target. But if you got it, G, I ain't mad at it. Do you? Well, you better walk around with security nonstop. You can't live a normal life. That's true. So at it's one stupid point, nigga shit. I'm it's sorry, stupid nigga shit. At one point, uh, so yeah, I you know, he at one point he goes into the back and he's having this seizure and he's smacking the cameraman around and he's the in the room. Yo, it's, it's right, right, right. dumb. It's dumb. Yo. Even my kids were like, "This is what's wrong, this dude?" Yeah, and here's yeah, the other thing: damn. when you are the halftime act, you know what you mm-hmm. need to do. You need to bring fire. You and I don't mean actual bring fire. fire. And I'm and and it bring fire to happen. You need to have songs that bang. That's the mm-hmm. most important thing. And you need to put on the show. The weekend don't have songs that bang. Period. Those songs conversation. are like go to sleep songs, man. They're like, it, you know what I mean? At, at 50 best, Days of Grey type of music. At best. <laughs> it's, not, it's not football music. It's not stadium music. No. Bring DJ Khaled out. Where's Janet Jackson when you need her? They owe Janet Jackson. She needs to come out there with her chocolate chip, if you know what I'm talking about. They owe Janet Jackson a return. They need to bring she got off. so much <sighs> shit, and it wasn't even her fault. It was Justin Timberlake's fault, fault, even that though they play, nah, they playing that shit. You think you don't think Janet knew that that was gonna happen? Um, she had a decorated yo, nigga. She had a decorated titty clamp. You don't. You, oh, come on, women don't Janet walk Jackson, around with bro. a decorated titty clamp like <clears> that <throat> on a, just a regular day. You know how hot that is. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, no. Nope, they planned yeah. that shit. Yeah, she was like, yo, planned do it. that. And he's like, do that. And you know, J, you know JT <laughs> was like, what? You want me to grab your titty? Like, you crazy? He's like, yo, you know what? National TV, couple, 3 billion National viewers. TV. Get it. Let's go. Get that titty. Let's yeah. go. 3 million viewers. What's up? But here's the fuck. Yo, yo, salutes to the fucking Tampa Bay Bucks. I don't give a fuck about them, but you know, salutes mm-hmm. to them. But here's 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 the part of the conversation that I want to talk to you about. What's that? So I don't know if we said welcome to Black Fathers Matter, but if we didn't, welcome to Black welcome Fathers Black. Matter. Let's get Black into Fathers the meat Matter. of this shit. Tom this Brady. Shit. Tom Brady. Good. Yeah, that nigga won his seventh Super Bowl. He on that now, goat status right now, man. I can't even. Oh, no, okay. This is the conversation that we need to have. Tom Brady, Mm -hmm. and in the starting five, we're gonna break down the greatest of all time. Now, we usually say it's our favorites, 
But this week, it's the actual pe people that we think is the greatest of all time in each right. sport. Okay? Each category. Each, each in each yeah. of the, the, the uh, what we consider the five, the big sports. Although we right. didn't talk about, we're not, you know what? Let's do six. Let's throw boxing in. Fuck it. Let's go. Right, boxing is right. the one we didn't miss. Let's throw you. Boxing you, is you, in it. Let's go. Box, boxing is in it. We're going to do starting six. Starting six. First time ever, yo. First time On ever. BFM. Now, Let's go. Here's my question Do you agree that Tom Brady is, no, sorry. Okay. Do you agree that Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time? Bro, you got to remember, I'm not a football fan. You know what All I'm right. saying? No, he won. Okay. He's the quarterback that won the most. Based on his numbers, his numbers don't lie. That's why I'm going to give it to him. Okay. But it's just based on numbers. That's all it is. Okay. Based on numbers, he mm. is the greatest quarterback of all time. The motherfucker won seven championships. That's more than any quarterback. He won them now for two different teams. That's dope. Right. He won in two that different conferences, the AFC and the NFC. That's dope. Right. Now, right. the question is, so I'll give you greatest quarterback of all time. The motherfucker is not the greatest football player of all time. Y'all need to Who trump that? your fucking breaks. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you, you, that's how people do it, though, man. But this is how and people do it. They do this shit in basketball, too. In basketball, man, you can be the greatest point guard. They're going to turn around and say, oh, he's the best basketball player. Nah, dude, he's the greatest point guard. He's the greatest get point guard. We got to relax. You know what I'm saying? Leave so, it at that. Here's, here's, but greatest quarterback, absolutely. Mm. Greatest football player, maybe. We could, we could have a conversation about that. Okay. But what these motherfuckers were doing after the Super Bowl is saying he is the greatest athlete of all time. Oh. He is the See, greatest play, athlete to ever play a sport. Nah. Y'all I ain't giving him that, bro. I ain't giving him that. They smoking. They smoking they some crap, yeah. yo. Now, let, now, let me tell you something about let me tell you something about Tom Brady. The motherfucker had a great he's had a great life. This motherfucker has won seven like, championships and right. the motherfucker, yo, at one point he had a baby mama. He had two women pregnant at the same time. That's that white privilege, that entitled white privilege. You came out of you came out with a silver spoon and you still winning championships. No, nope, you know what I mean? I don't and they, they no. saying nope, that's not what it is. That's not what that's it not is. That's not what it is. You Where know you what from? it is? What are you from? What's he that? sold his he sold his soul to the devil, bro. Mm, think so? No, he was a he was an average quarterback at the University of right. Michigan. He wasn't even starting okay. in big in the beginning. Now, all of a sudden, he won his seven championships. He sold his soul to the devil. You know what I think? You ever see that movie, The Devil's yeah. Advocate? With, right. with yeah. Al Pacino and Keanu Reeves? Yeah. That's what That's happens. What happens. So Keanu Reeves said, nah, dad, I don't want to do this. That's what happens yeah. when you, I, I know, okay, my dad is the devil. I'll take all that shit. But yo, here's the thing, shit. man. It, to, to your point, though, Tom Brady just popped up to me, man. Just like I didn't hear about him, and he just but popped that's up. You're not, that's because like you're not a football fan. But but even like soccer, you hear Pele, you hear all these names over the years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just saying, like Tom Brady just popped up. You know what I'm saying. So even the stuff he did back before he won his championships, who the hell knows? I don't know that shit. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. So maybe he did sell his soul. Maybe he did. The glope is real though. The glope is real. You can't. <laughs> right. Here's the thing. Right, you can. I can hate Tom Brady all day, but right, success. I can't hate success, bro. Success. You is can't success. do that, man. Numbers, numbers don't lie. Numbers. You gotta let. Numbers, yeah, numbers don't lie. Exactly. So, and um, that's why I give him that. Yeah, I give him that. But what I'm not, what I can't do, is say he's the he's the greatest athlete ever. I just, I just can't do it. No. There's two, you know, no. that that and and, and and people don't you. Know, Let's not do say, that. Let's not do that. You want to hear some crazy shit? Speaking speaking of this subject, I got into a I got into a Twitter war. Uh oh, uh -oh. Twitter figures. I posted. Someone posted. Who are the top ten greatest hip rappers of all time? And we just had had this conversation, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. Number one, Eminem. On that person's list. Man, are they white? So, I, they were Are they white. white? 
Oh, they were white. Ah, so I out. said any any list that has so someone before me said any list that has Eminem number one, I'm not is a is an invalid list. So I said Ultra Vulture any shit. list. I said any list that has Eminem on the top ten is an invalid list. And a bunch of niggas said, "Yep, you right. Yeah, no, no, no. oh, facts, bro. Blah blah blah." All the white people. <laughs> hey, guy. Hey, <clears throat> don't you wouldn't you wouldn't? Are you crazy? Eminem's got you know sold more records than ever than anyone in hip hop. Yeah. I'm like, so yeah. you only judge by by sales, bro? Because then Vanilla Ice should be on your top ten. See, right. that, that's the difference, though. That's what Jay said. Those who don't listen to music like that, they they watch it in the sales. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you know what I mean? Like, what about the, the art? What about the, the art The art of what you're doing? But this that's is what I art, look at. But this is why when motherfuckers talk about sports, they pick and choose when they want wins to matter, when they want chips exactly. to matter. They either matter or, all the time or they don't matter all the time. Yo, if, but if, you got to remember. Talk, go ahead. There ain't no loyalty in this shit because they will praise you and say you to go and you mess up, dude. They gonna come back and try to take away your stripes. Sure. This is the- these are the people you work in, you know, we, we trying to get get validation from, man. There ain't no loyalty with fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at all the hate Michael Jordan dealt with when he went to the Wizards. A lot of hate, bro. A lot of people were like, yo, what's wrong? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, guy, come on. Yeah, At the end of the day, some of it's that- just people though, man. Some of that, it's some of that, people. some of the hate for Jordan though, was connected to the fact that they didn't understand. Still, they still gonna find a reason, G. No, no, no. I understand. No, I, 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 you know I, get, it. I get it. I, I, I get that there's hate, but in this case, it's not about hate. It's the other way around. You just, you know, it, there's something called recency bias, where you only remember the shit that just happened. And you don't remember history. Right. That's true. So, for example, mm-hmm. you can't say that Tom Brady is the greatest football player of all time and not mention, like, there's like a hundred, yo, you can't, you're not, you're not mentioning, you're not mentioning like Walter Payton or Jim Brown or, 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 or fucking Lawrence Taylor or like, or Emmett Smith, or, or like, there's just, there's yeah. a hundred, you know, if it's just by the chips, now I don't know if it, no one is one more chips than him. So if it's just by the chips, then he, he gets that, mm-hmm. right? But it ain't right. just about the championships. We know that. Right. Ab- sports, sports people know that straight up. It's not just about the chips. It's about right. your impact on the game. Yeah, your sportsmanship, the how you deal with losses, how you deal with wins, everything, man. The one thing what you do in your community. What the one thing that it seems to be? No, no, no. I don't give a fuck about what you do in the community when it comes to are you the greatest athlete of all time? All I time. give a fuck about what you do on the field and how you change the game. So for yeah, example, but yo, you got to remember this though, man. You got to remember this. That makes sense and all, but a lot of guys who wear goats on the field. They screwed up off the field. They got that shit stripped away. I don't give a fuck. And then about people that. forget. They forget what they did on the field. I don't give a fuck about that. Right? I don't give a fuck so about that. So it goes that. into that hole. You know why I don't give a fuck about that? Because a lot of cats, you know, it's, it's, it's because of Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds mm. is the greatest baseball hitter that has ever lived. Right? Now. Right. right. He's the most you feel. probably, it's probably the most, no, 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 just based on the numbers. You got more home runs than everybody else. Based on the numbers, okay. Yeah, right. yeah based on the right. numbers. Now, now, um, is the best, certainly the best home run hitter. Now, mm-hmm. he was an Y'all think of another guy who was a better home run hitter. No, I mean, no, no, home no, run hitter. No, just numbers. But he was He's hitting different more- things, though. He was, he was hitting different things. <laughs> So if you are uh, Barry Bonds it, and everybody likes you, when the steroid scandal yeah. pops up, um, we justify it differently. But we fucking hate, mm. the media hates Barry Bonds. So even right. though 
Um, he was a nasty feared hitter before he took steroids and an even nastier hitter after. We're going to shit on him because he took steroids and didn't give a fuck. Now, right. if he had took steroids, here's a great example. A-Rod took steroids. That motherfucker is on TV and is fucking J-Lo. We don't get, black people don't get to overcome. Mm. Now, the difference is, is he came correct. Barry Bonds right. didn't come correct. Yeah, Barry I Bonds, did it. I did it. <laughs> so you got to I did it. <laughs> you got to through a lot of correct. stress. Right, right. Why people like, you saying like people appreciate the honesty more. I think people, well, because people like to see motherfuckers come back. Right, yeah, but it also depends on 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 the on the on the complexion because let's not forget what we what the people did to Mike Vick. You know what I'm saying? He came correct. He still got his ass whooped and flogged, thrown in jail. You know what? Still though? got shitted on. You know what? Can't though? bounce back. You know what I mean? Dude couldn't bounce back. He did come. Yo, know, he came back to the league. Yeah, but not like how he was before. People did well, not yeah, forgive him. The league still kind of, you know what I mean? His it, yeah, yeah, but you know, look. There's some shit you can't do. There's some you shit. Can't... No, 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 no. Listen. This is regular I'm... shit in the hood, homie. Section 8, no. go anywhere right now in Section 8 right now. People are dogfight. People you in Mexico me... are fighting, G. You let me know when motherfuckers from the hood are owning NFL teams. Because then that. you can do whatever the fuck you want. Listen, if right. you, you, look, okay. I, this this shit right here, nigga, drives me crazy about niggas. It's this. Yeah. Hey, I don't know why they test for weed, nigga. It's legal. Yeah, I don't know why they test. Look, you are you want to be a part of a club, right? The club says, "I'll, I'll get you can't take do it." Certain. Not the club says you can't do certain things. Guess yeah. what? You can't do certain fucking things. You mad at now, it? Then you don't be in the club. But you can't. But is that? Like, you can't be but, like, ah, nah. They don't want me in the club. I'm still gonna smoke. Well, then you're gonna be homeless, bro. All right, but okay, I get that. But yo, when I'm with the club doing club events, then cool. I, I I'm gonna sacrifice that. But listen, man, when I'm off season, I'm back at home where it is legal. Those what's are poppin'? not the rules. Say do also, whatever it's like you a, want. Yo, listen. If yeah. you are on vacate, okay, let's take let's take it to current, current more current events. Those people, if I'm a real estate agent and I go on vacation with my kids and we have a nice time, it's all love. That's gonna help me right. in my business. But if I'm that same real estate agent and I go storm mm -hmm. the Capitol, mm -hmm. I don't get points for that in my real life okay 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 you know same example so you're now if you're if you're the same real estate agent and you go to peru by yourself with a few of your homeboys and you're snorting lines of coke on your time off and you come back who gives a damn anybody right, know that but, right but the real estate agent license or the real estate agent contract does not say you can't smoke coke in Peru off of hookers. Snort, snort. <laughs> That's what I said. You said smoke. <laughs> well, whatever. Smoking coke off of hookers. That's, that's crack. <laughs> that's crack. You can't yeah. smoke crack off of hookers. <laughs> so, but but the NBA has I gotta, yo, in, your, in, in their thing. The, see, that's the thing. Because the NBA, when you sign with any of these sports clubs, man, or any of these teams... This is your whole life. You can't shit without, you know, doing it in a specific way. But that's the, but <laughs> nigga, that's the game. That, being, they, I know, I get it. They're giving you money to do it the way they want to do it. So they're like, giving you, yeah, oh, that's crazy. That's some new, new slave masters right there. That's what not, they're talking about, man. It's not. Guess what, bro? If all you want to do is smoke weed and you don't want to follow the rules, let's take it out of weed. Let's take it out of weed. No, take the weed out of here. We, we don't even let's take, talk about let's weed. Let's take drugs out. Let's take drugs out. Hmm. Allen Iverson practice, right? Right. Now, Allen Iverson had that whole shit about practice. Mm -hmm. Do you think, name me another person that was on any Allen Iverson team, the Sixers. Name me any. Uh, Eric Snow. 
Oh, yeah, Eric Snow, what was it? Um, you think, okay, yeah. that's it. You think Eric Snow could not show up to practice once? Oh, Eric. Uh, Eric Snow is, he's an Iverson dude. He has to be there. Exactly. Exactly. He has to be there. He like, it's like, it's like De- Dennis Rodman when, De- when Dennis Rodman would skip practice, like, skip games, not even show up to the game, G. They find him in Vegas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, Chilling. Dennis, but he's the only guy that could do that. Most guys will get canned. Exactly. Which is nuts. Bro. There's levels to this shit. There are rules right. to this shit. You don't get to you don't get to say, ah, I don't want to do that. Let's let's take regular basic shit. You're a bus driver. Do you get to pick a different bus route? You don't get to pick a different bus <laughs> route. Stay on the fucking route. If you're a wide receiver and they say the right is a curl pattern and you do a cross pattern, you're gonna get your sit sit yeah. your ass down. So if I got your you. contract I got you. yeah, no, feel, says you. don't smoke weed, then you cannot smoke weed. Don't smoke. Or you better get real good at understanding how the test works. And mm. you better be a great athlete. Because if you're a shitty That's athlete, right. you're going to get cut. If you're a superstar, you're going to get a slap on the wrist. Right, right. But back to this fucking game. I hear that, man. So if you back are... To the car. If you are, um, so we're not talking, so I'm going to mention a couple of people that in sports that we're not going to do the starting five on. And I want you to tell me whether you think they are more, should be rated for greatest athlete, not greatest football player, they should be rated over Tom Brady, Tiger Woods. So we're not talking about golf in the starting five. You don't think Tiger Woods nope. should be rated over Tom Brady? Oh, oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, hell yes. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. I was just no checking. questions. No, no questions. doubts. No doubt. Okay. Put him, I don't give a damn about the scandal. He he earned it. Serena Williams. Of course. No question. There's a bunch Talking of about. there's a bunch like, of tennis what? players that are Dude. Uh, I would put above Tom Brady, Rafael Nadal. No, well, maybe not Rafael Bro. Nadal. Roger Federer, Pete Sampras. Yeah. There's a bunch of cats, right? So this is the shit that we got to be careful of. Nah, man, they look. They they talking out the ass. He had, you know what? Even if you do it on money, this hmm. these cats have made more money than him. If you do it on endorsements, they've made more endorsement deals than him. That's they, right. Like, That's right. The only thing that he's got is he's pulled more Victoria's Secret models than the most of these cats. Uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's you know, the, he, he's victorious on that too. So I there's give him not, that. like when I look at the top, when I pick the top five athletes in each of those categories, mm-hmm. in each of my five categories, six categories, he's not on. He I just don't even think about him. I just don't think he's about like him. an Eminem when it comes to hip hop less for me, man. Like I give him I give him respect for what he's done. Yep. But you know what I mean? I'm rocking with other dudes, man. I just being real with it. I like I said, I, I, he popped up to me. He just popped up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But yo, yeah. um, Do, who, who, who? What? What makes? So there's obviously there's lots of great athletes, and then there's mm-hmm. that next level, upper what, echelon. What? 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 What even gets you into that conversation? Yo, listen, man. There's lots of, there's lots of listen, great listen. athletes that never get yeah. into the conversation, and you Yo. hear us talking about so much in the in the in the culture. You'll it's, hear it's Yo, a sauce in it's, the conversation. Okay, what's the sauce? It's what, the what sauce, bro. Say? It's the sauce. It's the drip. It's the finesse. You know what I'm saying? Aside from your skill level and your and your motivation and what you're doing on the field on the court, whatever it is, man, it's the finesse you have. It's that shit that that Steph Curry has, that the LeBron James has, like Michael Jordan has. You know what I'm saying? It's a little shit. It's that swaggy shit. You know what I mean? It, it's that just carrying yourself like a god. We can't really pinpoint it, but when you look at all these guys that have that uh, past that level, they carry themselves like, yo, these guys were built for this like you know what i mean like when lebron james is is, is shooting that three-pointer and turning around 
not even seeing the ball going and he just turned putting his back to the net and making it. That's what I'm talking about, man. Most guys ain't gonna do that. Do you think you know what I'm saying? That, do you think that um yeah, yeah. I mean, I think and you know who started all of that? I, I you know who started all of that finessing? I'll have to say, man, I give it up to Muhammad Ali, G. You know, when all that footwork, all that swaggy shit he was doing, man, the stuff he brought out to the on in ring, most guys weren't really doing it. If you were an athlete, he made it look so easy. If you're an athlete and you can't, let's take Kawhi. Kawhi is the greatest example, great example of this. Okay. Okay. Kawhi, unless he wins 10 more championships, will never be considered the potential of a goat nah, nah. because as great as he is he don't got that swag bro he, he, don't got to, he can't even pass Allen iverson no but i mean he, no 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 it's it's but he's way below that right he's way That's below that he and, right? and 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 he don't give a fuck he care. right he doesn't he care no championship, man. he made he history with a- toronto that's all that matters for him he made history with Toronto. Shit, he'd already made history in in San Antonio, right? He doesn't Antonio, care. Man, like, he doesn't care about the shit. It doesn't appear. So mm-hmm. I don't know that nigga. He doesn't appear to care about the shit that the everyday athlete cares about. So right. because of that, he eliminates his chance to be in the goat conversation. He gives mm-hmm. it up. Right, I would never because even consider him for that. That's right, because of those things, because of because of yeah. the way he has chosen to live his career. You know, who's another right. example of that, Tim Duncan. We will Yo, always Tim Duncan and David Robinson, man. We will Both always them forget them. Yeah, not because they don't deserve to be in the conversation, because they were not dynamic enough. Here's a good. Here's another example. So hold on, hold on, hold here's hold another, on. Oh, let me hold give you one more. On let okay, me throw a ahead. name out there and see if you. If we, so, what about Reggie Miller? Okay. The only reason why we remember Reggie Miller now, today, is because of two things. One, his sister. And two, because he's still on TV. If he was mm. not on TV, we would not mm. remember Reggie Miller. Mm. So, having said that, Reggie Miller is one of the deadliest motherfuckers in the history of the three game. Point, yeah, three point He's shooter, an assassin. We, no one he remembers is. him because he was not that dude. He never But won. he would never get to the gold conversation ever. No, he would never. He ne- but he He's never, never won. in that. He never won yeah. anything. Right. And he was like that, <laughs> that's not the way his game. That was but, the most- but you want to know something, though? If he played yeah. today, he would be Steph Curry. He'd be better than Steph. Yeah. yeah. He came off ball speed. Oh, yeah, I look, I look at Steph as he I was, said. He was bigger, stronger, and faster. Mm-hmm. It, you know, and had a faster agile. release. He was agile too, man. Like it was it's crazy. That, it's not to say that Steph. He was the biggest villain, honestly, though. And, right. but, but Steph and, is- and and he wanted now. Steph has this. Steph has this. Hmm. But where Steph wants to be the good guy, Reggie wants to be the bad guy. Yo, Reggie's always been the bad guy. That's what I'm saying. Say hello Every to time guy. he's worked so hard to get to the semifinals, the finals, playing against the Bulls, everybody hated them. Yep. And no, I hated how good he was. You know what I'm saying? OT. I hated Duncan. I hated Robinson because of what they used to do during playoffs. The Indi- Indiana... Those teams, there are mm. some teams that just deserve, because of the makeup of the team, you say, right. God damn, that's a good team. Like, they you know, just, like, yeah, just give it to they them. just had, they had, they were like eight or nine deep, 10 deep. Right. They had skill positions at their first row and their second row because, right, you right, know, right. you they, they had, some niggas had Detlef Shrimp. They had Sam Perkins. Yeah. Like, they had three stretch, they had three, um, stretch fours on their team. Oh, right? real. 
So they had the, they, they had the elements that we that 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 if you had them today, mm-hmm. they would be killing. Right, they did. They, right, they, right. They, you know, like it just. That's a team. I wish they had had a chance. Now, fuck them, because in yeah. order for them to have a chance, they would have had to gone over and beat my Knicks. So fuck them. Listen, right. man. Listen. Let's stop bringing the Knicks up all the time because we well out there choking coaches, homie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's a curse. Anyways, yo, <laughs> yo, check this out, man. We'll be right back. But we come back. Let's do the um top six. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Yo, fam. let me wait. Let me ask you one more question. Let me ask you. Yeah, one yeah. Question. what's up? What's up? What's is up? is do you think Tom the success of Tom Brady? How much of the success of Tom Brady, like us talking about the fact that he's a goat, is because he's white? And and and, and I don't want to talk about it because of that. Yeah, because he might like be said, the only. He might be if you if you're looking yeah. at. If you're looking at the top five major sports, the top six major sports mm-hmm. that, that we'll, we'll break down in the starting five next, it's right, very right. possible that he's the only one. He's like, he's the only, he's the only shot that white people have of having the goat yes. of their sport. I got you. Is and, and you know what? Tom Brady. I, I hear you, man. And, and I'm going to let them have it. Because I'm sure if I was a white dude, I'd be kind of annoyed. Man, black people running everything from music to every sport. Yeah. Can we have one person who's not just curling? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, okay. yeah, whatever, man. Have so that. The- Enjoy it because you know what? After Tom Brady, there's going to be one of our people coming in there and they're going to well, crush Mahone. Every, Patrick everything. Is coming. So That's what I'm saying. They're going to crush it. So let, let Tom Brady set the bar for what – that white excellence looks like. Set the bar. Last, how many, last, how many Super Bowls you got? Seven. Seven. How many Super Bowls? Seven. Oh, set it up there. That's set the it mark. up there. That's the mark. That's it. So that's cool. Do you think that people would feel because the black folks are just they 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 going crazy over Tom Brady on this? And so the yeah, follow yeah, up yeah. to it is: Do you think they would still be going crazy if right. Tom Brady wasn't a Trump supporter? Cause that to me is the thing that's I'm like, oh, ah, right. fuck yeah, that, you, the, bro. That's the politics behind it. So yes, I yeah. think that has a big part to play with it. So, of course, man, that has a big yeah. part to play with it. Right. But yo, let's break it down when we get let's back. Let's take a you know break. We're gonna come back and do the yes, start yes. five. Yo, Black Father, you right black. Thanks for rocking with us. Stay safe, Peace. y'all. We coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's happening, man? BFM Black Fathers Matter. We up in smokes up in here, man. This, yeah. is, this, this is... Yo, Yo, so check this out, man. What we about to do right now is starting six. Yeah, yeah I said it. Starting six, man. Not the starting five. It's the first time in BFM history we are doing starting six. So, yo, Ralph, break, break it down. Let us know what we really talking about. All right. So here's the thing. We are doing the, the, the goats in... Six sports. We could have done. We could have done the goats in ten sports. Could have done them in twenty sports. You know what? We kind of tried to keep to our our starting five. Yeah. Um. I think we didn't mention soccer. Yo, we Pele, ain't got no curling up in here though, so I'm sorry. Pele's the, Pele's the goat. <laughs> Let's just keep it pushing. Let me we'll leave him at that. Yeah, we leave it at that. You um, know what I'm saying? So, All right. We drop in six sports. Not necessarily. Well, it. this is the order I happen to write them down. Basketball, it's football, good. baseball, Olympic sports, WNBA, boxing. That's it. Boom. That's it. That's it. So All right. once, once, the only thing, the rules still apply. Once, if, if a name is off the list, you can't pick it. Can't use it. Can't use it. Keep it moving. Now, here's a question I wanted to ask you before we, before we start. Do you, because you, it's something you kind of like mentioned when we were talking about Tom Brady. When you think about the GOAT, Mm. The true goat. Are you, do you keep it strictly to what they do on the floor, on the court or the floor, whatever, the field? Or are you thinking about it as your total person? And the reason why I say that is because every sport, when they, when sports do their hall of fame, some sports, they're like, yo, we want to know your whole story. And other sports course, are like, we only care about what you did on the field. Yeah. 
If you killed niggas, now, we don't care about that. We only care about what right. you did on the field. And other sports handle nice. a little differently. So how do you right. treat I, it? Yeah, I, I used to rock with it where all I cared about was what you did on the court, on the field. That was it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. then when I start seeing my, you know, these guys who I idolize losing stripes because of, you know what I mean, getting certain women pregnant and things they were doing outside the sports, that's when, you know what I mean, I had to shift it a little bit. And not to mention, you know, LeBron James came out and just set the bar for everybody. This guy is pissing excellence and on everything he does. You know what I'm saying? On right. the court and off the court. So he set that bar. So if anybody's going to come in and say, yo, best athlete, GOAT athlete, you better come step in the LeBron, man. And not a lot would of you, people can do that right now. Would you agree? So the way, the way, and we'll get into it. LeBron is the hardest part of my, of this for me. Mm. It was the hardest part. Um, because I think about it the way you think about it. I used right. to be like straight numbers. I just want to see what the numbers yeah. are. Yo, what, and you know what? What numbers say, exactly. And, the, and what, ch- who, what changed that for me was Jordan. Now, hmm. I'm going to be real talk with it. For me, Jordan is not the Jordan is not yeah, the yeah, yeah, basketball yeah, yeah. player was, of all time. You know. This guy likes Patrick bad. Ewing. He thinks Patrick Ewing better because he's I'm on the all Knicks. Knicks. All Knicks. So, <laughs> so... But I recognize that his impact on the planet of sports right. is right. significant, right? right? Mm. And no one picks Bill Russell or any of the Celtics. That's 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 crazy, yeah. Even wow. though, even though, in fact, there are cats that will pick Will Chamberlain over him. Yeah, Spud even Webb though, over him. Even though <laughs> Bill Russell schooled with school yeah. Chamberlain. Yeah, so yeah. so okay so so for me i i think you're on the same page i want yeah. i want my goat to be the well-rounded i want him to do yeah. it in the field and i want him to right. have done it outside of the, the field yeah but the culture changed though remember that right because back in the day nobody really cared about what they did outside because they didn't know it was really in the sports so a lot of the goats i may pick which were from that era that's all we know you okay. know what i'm saying I don't know what he's doing at home. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. So let's go. Let's start with basketball. You can pick first. Yo, I'm going to go with, you know, the holy King James version, obviously, bro. He set the bar. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it current. So that's what I'm going to go with. What you got? So I thought you might tell Michael. Uh, I thought you. I I thought you might. I wanted to keep it current because I know you were were double OG and you know what I mean? I knew you were going to go there, so. So I would have normally picked Magic because to me, Magic is the greatest basketball player. And and I'll be be honest with you. You Mm. know how when we did the greatest rapper conversation, we picked, we we were like, look, Lil Wayne is great, but we got to pick Drake because Drake took the Lil Wayne blueprint and and surpassed that shit. Of course. So for me, I can't pick LeBron because all that LeBron j- did was take magic it, Magic's playbook mm-hmm. for how to be a right. man both on the field, a role model on the field, off the field, and turbocharge it. So, but because you didn't pick Michael Jordan, I'm picking Michael Jordan. Hey, man. Michael Jordan's impact on yes. the on basketball and 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 and, and communicating excellence. Every yep. fucking night. Mm-hmm. Because that's mm-hmm. the one thing that I can't say about LeBron on the court. LeBron doesn't bring it every fucking right. night. He picks Yeah, but you got to remember, MJ was also a, a some sort of a ball hog. You know what I'm saying? I give a fuck about that. To a certain that. extent. He was on a certain extent. A lot of guys are like, yo, pass ball. But he was doing what he had to do to, to win the championship. So they it, do, it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get caught up in that. All right, football. What's your football pick? Yo, my football, man, I'm going to keep it old school, man. I'm going to go with Joe Montana, man. Hall of Fame, 49er. He played for the KC as well, too. I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? That's why I'm going to stay with it. What you got, man? So you just, you just ignore, 
So, so, so even though everybody would say that now that Brady is better, surpasses Mantana. I don't give a Montana. damn. I don't listen to what people just, say, man. I make my own way, son. Brady. All right, cool. Um, but, but you know what? With, with Joe Montana, it was a numbers thing, though. You know what I mean? That's why it was like one of those things where I don't know what he does in his, in his life and shit. Yeah. But when I read up on the dude, I'm like, yo, this dude, he made some hit. Like, he got some you know numbers what? stacked up. You know what I'm saying? You know why I love we'll keep Joe it at Man- that. You know why I love Joe Montana? Why, why I, I, I don't mind picking Joe Montana? You know what's the thing about Joe Montana? What's that? He made that shit look easy, bro. And, yeah, and, and the reason why he bullshit, made it look dude. easy was because of the person that I'm yeah. picking as my the greatest football player. All right, what you got? Jerry Rice. Now, okay. I okay. almost picked Jim I Brown. I can't hate on that. Because I got a picture yeah. of Jim Brown in my house. Uh, <laughs> he was the GOAT. He, was the, he had the argument mm-hmm. for the GOAT in two sports, in football right. and in lacrosse. But mm. Jerry Rice is, to me, and, and Jim Brown killed it in the community. Mm. The motherfucker was right. just a monster. The Crips and the okay. Blood. He yo yo. He organized Crips and the Bloods truce. He was doing it as an That's active dope. That's athlete. Dope. So when yeah. you, we yeah. talked about Ali, the Jim Brown was doing that shit as an active athlete. That's dope. That's dope. So, yeah. but I didn't even. I, I forgot Rice. about that piece, man. All right, right that's dope. Rice, that's dope. Yeah, nigga Jerry Rice. He was just so smooth. He never mm. caused no stress. He never caused no problem. All he he's did a mediator was too, man. Four yeah. fucking touchdowns. So I'm picking. That's what's Jerry up. Rice. That's what's up. Who's, I got who's you. Your, right, who's your right. baseball? So yeah, for baseball, I got a two part, man. Two part thing, right? And these are two know. guys that yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. One is uh, <laughs> on the field. Yo, home runs on the field and off the field. That's what we're gonna do it like that. <laughs> All right, so, go ahead, man. I'm gonna keep it OG with this, man. So I'm gonna stick with Babe Ruth on that. You know what I'm saying? No. He played for the Yankees. He did his Boston no. thing. But hey, you no. know what? It's cool. It's cool. I knew you were gonna say that. So no. now, no. now he's racist, bro. Okay, okay, yeah, and and that's why. Okay, that's bro. why. Okay, all right, that's cool. And, and you know that that's all. That's I I totally get that. So my part, the second guy, the runner up would have been. And the only reason he is here, aside from his skill, which I'm not really sold, sold at, but his skill of home runs off the court, and that's Derek Jeter, man. That dude was smashing all them chicks I had. Had crushes on, man. Mariah Carey, Alba, Tyra Banks, Carla Johansson. Like, bro, what you do, man? Like, he's swinging his bat the other way, son. You know what I mean? So, to me, like, this is... Yo, I'm saying, man, as a youngin, when you had crushes and all these chicks I just named, and this dude out there, I started watching baseball just because of this guy smashing all the chicks I like. Okay, I'm gonna, I was gonna fucking destroy you. <laughs> and, and, but we gotta I bring you, we gotta keep it for the ladies, man. I, I will say this you know what was, you know what? I, now, I'm a Mets fan. I'm from New York. I ain't fuck with the Yankees. Fuck the Yankees. Always so yo, hold you, you rock it with on, the Knicks so on. hard, but not the Yankees. Hold, hold Hell, on, you okay, let me it, just man. let me just finish this. This guy. And then I heard <clears throat> this shit about Derek Jeter. That at the end of kicking it with him, he would send his ladies gift baskets. Yeah. I'm like, yo, that's some <coughs> swaggy shit. <coughs> but yo, yes. apparently he gave all these women an STD. So, really? Yeah, Jeter's all over the shit. I went to look him up, and I was like, "Damn, this guy gave all these women herpes." Uh, allegedly, allegedly, are, are you allegedly. Sure he, are you sure he? You weren't looking allegedly. up Usher? That's a different competition. <laughs> Usher was giving dudes and big women that he was on that BBW joint. But no, man, that's that's like Jerry, Derek Jeter's bit. Like he's known for that for herpes, and that's right. no, he he's like the girls have come out and they said, "Yo, you know what I mean?" All of them he, chicks he smashed it. He apparently okay. gave it to them, right? Now, I don't know if they lie. It's all alleged. But when I heard that he's sending them gift baskets and all those, even after he breaks up, I'm like, hmm. Maybe that's because that's, that's, maybe that's why he need to give him her. He need to give him some Vagisil or some shit to clear, clear that up. I don't even know what clears up herpes. Yo, but, yo, listen, uh, first of all, man, I don't think Vagisil does all that. It's not for like, I don't like, know what Vagisil <laughs> I thought it's like I see the commercials and they're always like yeast infections and all this shit. <laughs> I think it's just like some, I don't know, man. 
Go read I'm that book on Doctor. Yeah, I don't know. Go, go get on that Doctor Sebi diet. I know he, <laughs> he cured a bunch of dudes with that with herpes and shit. So you know, go go check that out. Doctor uh, Sebi gets you right. <laughs> so my baseball pick is Hank Aaron. And okay. Hank all right. All right. Aaron, I could. I, I I almost picked. I almost picked Jackie Robinson, but I picked Hank Aaron mm. because you know. Um. Yo, it's hard to to to. It's hard to kill something that's white, and I mean like, you know, you mentioned Babe Ruth. The legend of Babe Ruth was so big and so yeah. heavy, right? That when 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 Hank Aaron started to get close, they started sending death threats and shitting on him. Oh, of course, and, and, and they want to keep that Snow Roach living. No they want to keep his legend. You know what I mean? And and there's that, the, and so the fact that that you know to be a trailblazer, to be black or brown, or whatever, 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 something not white, and take out an institution which is as mm. white as baseball. You got to be a different kind of cat. Mm. And when you That's think right. about when you think about Jackie Robinson and you think about Hank Aaron and all the people in between them, you those are special cats to, nice. to, to be able to still deliver when the world wants you dead. Yeah. That's some crazy shit. The world's that's telling you to bleach your skin and you're still delivering with that yeah. dark skin. That's what's up. Yeah, so that's my I got number you. three. I got you. What is right, your right let's 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 uh let's go boxing. What's your boxing? Boxing, yo. Yo, I'm representing this dude right here, man. I'm the greatest Muhammad Ali all day, every day, man. Yeah, that's what I'm rocking with. Yeah. Scratch that off your list, homie. I know you got you got your backup though. You got pretty boy Floyd. <laughs> Pretty boy Floyd out there, man. This, okay. Yo, yo. So I knew that dude I had knew. Ray J sitting in his living room. Hold on, hold on. Pretty boy Floyd had Ray J sitting in his living room playing, uh, playing the piano, singing "I Wish." Yo, in, in a room full of dudes, dude. It's like there are twenty niggas in. There. I don't. Yo, listen. No, no shots to Pretty Boy. Floyd. No shots, man. I'm just saying. I got. That's if I'm gonna have Ray J singing that song. I'm gonna make sure I have some 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 women's around. You know I, what I'm I used to. I used can't to, be sitting I, with a bunch of dudes with dim lights, <laughs> listening to like Floyd, some love music like that. Floyd is one of those cats that I, I, I just had to give up rocking with him. Why? Because he's just too yo. Well, Dude, yo, yo, yo. It's the me, money let me, scene, let, G. let me just say. Let me just say this though. Let me just yeah. say this. You know what I like about what I respect about him now. I don't respect all this women shit, and and if and the guy seems like he's not a do a good dude. You talking about the alleged alleged beating? Yeah, yeah, domestic, yeah. 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 Don't sound yeah. Like I, I hope it ain't right, but if it I is, hope it ain't if right. it's true, then I I rock. I can't I rock can't the dude like that. that. But yeah. what I respect about him is the motherfucker got his money, he kept himself safe, and he's mm -hmm. out. As long as he doesn't come back. If he oh, he's coming back. back. He come, he's coming back, dude. That's he's fighting that Logan kid, man. The kid who knocked out oh, Nate. Oh, yeah. That, that don't bother him. coming to whoop his that ass. That don't bother him. That don't bother him. Somebody need to whoop that white dude ass, though. No, 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 no. I mean come back and take, like, a real fight for real oh, stakes. Oh, oh, oh. Don't fight Pacquiao. Pacquiao will knock you because out right now, me, I'm to sorry. to me, you know what I want and all rich people should want? I want to get my money and get the fuck out. Exactly. Get my money and work that hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got all. How much money? Just roll in, spend? crush it, bounce. But you Ow. got time. You ain't got time to sit around there playing with these guys. Yeah. Because that, you know what? And, and he's smartened up. Because remember back in the day, you know Floyd would catch himself in stupid little things. You know. Oh, well, uh, he had the domestic violence shit. But yeah, him and Ti getting into like a little knuckle oh. situation, and I'm well, like, what, what, yeah, what are you doing, but, Floyd? But come on, that, Floyd. That was because he said he fucked Tiny though. I don't know about him doing all that, but she was in his crib chilling. So I'm check your saying, girl, like, homeboy. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. saying, like, I wouldn't be surprised, man. I wouldn't be surprised. By the way, man, did you hear about the whole T.I. Tiny shit, man? Apparently they're under investigation for, for uh, what was it, uh, sex trafficking, G? 
they bringing in they, chicks for three ways. Bring, making them sign contracts and and, and, and and piss it on them and beating them. And I'm like, what? Yo. Tip. I always had questions about Tip, man. Because after they found it with all them guns on his mattress and he only got eight months in jail, I don't know, man. Radar, my radar went up. There's lots like, of questions know, with Tip. There's all a the lot of doing, questions. I'm like. All the shit he's doing mm. with his daughter is questionable. Mm-hmm. But he's a, yo, you know what? Mm. He, that's another example of a cat that's like, yo, I got all my money. I'm just chilling now. I'm doing dumb shit. I'm doing I don't know, shit. man. He working pretty easy right now. I think he working with some higher up people, though. You know what I'm saying? Who keep right. him safe if you, if you catch my drift. But hey, Whatever. it is what Whatever it is. Whatever works. Whatever works. So my basketball goat is Tyson. And there's lots of other cats that I could pick. Tyson. And clearly Tyson's, Tyson's after, um, after like his po- off the field, off the, out of the ring life is, is fucked up. And so there's lots of cats that I could I'm pick. surprised you picked Tyson, G. I picked Tyson for one reason and one reason only. Of all the people that I named, all the athletes that I saw personally, Mike Mm. Tyson is the only motherfucker that physically scared the shit out of me. Hmm. Yo, the devastation, and he's from New York, and I got to have somebody. (laughs) But the devastation that he created in the boxing ring has never been seen by anybody else. Maybe George Foreman. That motherfucker mm. was destroying people. He was, Yo, he was destroying people's ears, man. Holyfield lost an ear up on I that. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's the only time where I am ignoring the off the field. That shit was crazy. Um, I, I, picked, one I probably should have picked like Joe Sugar Ray Leonard. I thought you were gonna pick Sugar Ray, man, or Holy Feel, or one of them cats. But it's all good. Tyson Gangster, and I'll also all way. I don't give a fuck. You know, and he, you know, he should have knocked out Roy Jones and his them titties and stuff. No, that, that was in the deal. That was a day they negotiated. Uh, that. They negotiated. Uh, that. Okay, W WNBA. WNBA. I'm gonna have to keep it with Lisa Leslie, man. LA Sparks, of course. Gee, that's the home girl right there, man. Shout out to yeah. Lisa Leslie, yo. When you in Toronto, holla at me. I'll take you around, show you about, I'll bring you to Ralph's crib and show you what he got popping up in there. <laughs> um, but Lisa Leslie is is, first, is is my goat when it comes to that. What you got? For, I, I, well, I would have put Lisa Leslie because that is the right answer. Um, mm. I'm going to pick... Um, oh, I was struggling with this a little bit because I, I really? figured you'd pick Lisa Leslie. Um, yeah, I had a backup, though, just in case you pick Lisa Leslie. And the backup was pretty dope, too. But Lisa Leslie takes the cake. I'm going to keep choice. it mad current right now. And I'm going to pick Diana Taurasi. Oh. So she, I, she I, I'm there. struggling. I'm struggling. There's a lot of OG cats in the WNBA mm. that I want to put on. I almost picked Sue Bird because Sue Bird is also crazy, crazy dope. But, yo, D- Diana. What about yo, Tamika? I, I could have, I was thinking about Tamika Catchings. You know what I like That's about right. Diana Taurasi? Mm. She got swag. She got a lot does, of man. swag. And I, I just like respect that, yeah. that swag. Uh, so nice. that's my pick. And she's all won right, a right. lot all over the world. Like, yo, she's won chips in a bunch of countries and she always that's comes right. back home and does her thing. So Diana Taurasi. Definitely represents, man. So that's dope. All yeah. right. So what all we right. got next? Olympic Olympics? Sports. Yo, Olympics, man, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, man. This is going to go straight off numbers because, you know, I don't really follow these guys' lifestyles like that. So Michael Phelps, man, 28 medals. I can't, you know what I mean? I ain't a swimmer. I try to swim, but my bone's dense. You know what I mean? So when I see this dude do his thing, I'm like, yo, shout out to that guy, man. He be swimming back and forth like a damn aqua man. You feel me? No doubt. What you got is Olympics, though, man. Let me guess. Let me guess. It's very You have the Brazilian volleyball team. All of them. All of them. Why not? The whole squad. And bring the nope. coach in too. She, she fired. <laughs> I am picking um, Simone Biles. Okay. I would have picked Michael Phelps mm-hmm. if, if he was available because I think what he did is no doubt. Of um, course, man. Um, I could pick Carl Lewis. And the only and the thing that knocks Carl Lewis down, honestly, is when he sang that fucking Star Spangled Banner, and then when he threw mm-hmm. that baseball. 
I can't I can't co sign that shit. But I will also say that Simone Biles, the shit she does, like mm-hmm. when you look at other cats on this list, MJ. Yo, MJ drive the basket dunk. There's lots of motherfuckers drive the basket dunk. Exactly. You know, there's lots of people exactly. that catch touchdowns. Lots of people hit home runs. All this shit. When mm. Simone, when when the great greats do it, and you watch them do it, you know it's something different. You know it's another it's just, level. Yeah. So when I watch Simone yeah, you, Biles, there's nobody, nobody that is doing what she does. She right. everything is everything's got an extra like eh. Yeah. It's like Everything flawless. She, she makes does. it way too easy, man. That's way that too black easy. girl magic type shit. That's that so, shit that makes people sit there and they're like, yo, I'm gonna go do do some of that and break their back. <laughs> yeah, or make or, or 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 makes you go, or makes you go, you know what? I'm not doing this shit anymore. I can't yeah, top that. Yeah, Fuck, that's, I'm done. So that's my yeah, yeah that's exactly. my last one. So yo, that's what's up, man. That's the start yeah. of five. We're gonna post them. You can pick which one, you know, which one you picked, either you know, me or, right. or, or Roy. Uh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one, but you know we do this every week. If you got any tips for the starting five, and if you want us to, you know, want to throw it at us, throw it at us. Right. Uh, otherwise, let us know. Yeah, we're gonna take a black break and we come right back with the final tip.